Hello, Larry again. I think that I've said before that I'm not at all opposed to vaccinations. Diseases like smallpox, polio and TB used to be dreadful scourges in this country and have now been almost eradicated due to vaccination programmes. This is a good thing. However, I do not approve of children being paid large sums of money to act as guinea pigs in clinical trials, whether of vaccines, drugs or anything else. This is immoral because children cannot give informed consent. It will be remembered that when Andrew Wakefield, the doctor who held unconventional views on certain vaccines, was struck off by the General Medical Council some years ago, one of the examples of his unethical behaviour which was cited was the fact that he had paid children £5 each to give blood samples. This was outrageous. I mention this so that we can compare his unethical behaviour 20 years ago with that of a large pharmaceutical company today. A representative of Moderna, a company which has become a household name due to its production of vaccines for COVID, has been offering 12-year-old children £1,500 to test a new form of COVID vaccine, a booster jab. This is 300 times as much as the fibre which Andrew Wakefield was offering kids. In the description to this video, I give a couple of links to the Andrew Wakefield business and also a link to a report by the United Kingdom's Prescription Medicines Code of Practice Authority, the regulatory body which monitors things like drug trials. Obviously, £1,500 is a considerable sum of money to some families, and parents might feel inclined to sign their children up to try out such an experimental vaccine for the money alone. Only children aged between 12 and 18 were eligible for these payments. The PMCPA has condemned Moderna for this and fined it £14,000. But to a big company like that, this is nothing at all. Uh, their revenue last year was over £6 billion. The surprising thing about this is that most of the newspapers and television news channels have shown no interest in reporting this matter. As I say, I'm a great believer in vaccines, but to lure families into offering their children as test subjects in this way by offering such a large amount of money is really unacceptable, and the fact that they've been censured and fined for doing so by the relevant regulatory body tells us that this is also the official view. Most disturbing.